Hi everybody, it's Colin, and I'm part of Power Moose on YouTube, as the Twitch name might imply. Uh, so today I'm going to be checking out what remains of Edith Finch. I have purposely gone out of my way to know nothing and see nothing about this game. I jump. I bought it and am jumping in totally blind just on the merit that Giant Sparrow Studios has. Um, I really was a big fan of The Unfinished Swan. It's definitely an indie darling, and if, if you haven't played it, I would definitely recommend it. Now, normally I would start at the main menu, but this game didn't have one, and I got into a bit of a bit of a spur and uh, didn't know what to do so we're at the pause menu which uh, shows our family tree I suppose and I'm Edith or I I'm assuming I am given the title of the game and she's the only one with a picture um, I'll check out this family tree a little later when we know a little more about the family but right now I think uh gonna join me on a boat. Um, I already forget if I've said or not, but this is what remains of Edith Finch. And I've got some flowers. And a broken hand. Um I, what is that icon? R2, I guess. A lot of this is going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Okay, house. I was hoping this game had subtitles. It does not, so I'll have to be extra quiet. So right away, game is a visually um, a huge improvement over their last I game. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. It's an interesting house to say the least. No. It seemed very interactable to me. Okay, this is interactable for sure. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Oh, it's got that uh, David Cage uh, hand controlling. Orcas Island Gazette. Alright, so that gives us a general idea of where we're at. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. No trespassing. This property's video is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Well, I hope it's okay. I used to live here, and I, my hey, family... My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Okay, so I am allowed to be here. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Um, let's go down. I mean, my immediate take. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. 
as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted by Edith, is that this game is gorgeous. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Um, e Edith, those frogs are loud as shit. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a feeling. Oh, wait, is that a deer? house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. I mean, that's a house and a half. There's a lot going on there. Is that like a dragon head in the lake? Neat. Do I have a crouch? Doesn't... no, but I have a zoom. Missing. Milton fin, fit, Finch. I can't read. Um, the only thing I can really make out is his name is Milton, and he's 11. And he appears to be, um, the Burger King. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. All right. Well, I imagine the front door is locked, but let's find out. Get Gary's potting mix. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. I'm not entirely surprised. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. A lot of books. And one of those Stairmasters. Another missing poster. I imagine that's uh, Milton again. Um, well, let's take a walk around the back of the house then. I'd live in this house. Big fan of the woods. Those wind chimes freaked me out. Is, it, uh, is that a thing over here? No. Oh, it is sort of a thing. It felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. We've got a, I assume that's a statue, and can't quite tell what's coming out of the water over there. A lot of lilacs. Well, I guess I don't even have to try the key. I'm just going right in the doggy door. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. A lot of painting and cleaning supplies. I've always been a big fan of reading video game props because you see a lot of uh, like references or jokes. Like, I don't know. None of those jump out. Fanny Farmer Jr. Cookbook.
so clearly had a handyman or handy woman kid that jellyfish is adorable I'm wondering why there's just a tennis ball on a string. Oh, I can press a thing. The power had been turned off the night we left. That makes sense. No need to keep paying for a power bill if you don't live there. time in years. January 2010. Edith Milton. Lewis, Don, and Eddie. Okay. I felt like I was home. So right away, I've got to say that this is like an impeccably um, filled out house. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat ruining the moment. Uh, a lot of reused book assets, I imagine. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the same books. I can't fault them too much for that. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I mean, it looks like y'all left lickety split. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Well, what's wrong with Chinese food? Um, I'm gonna go this way first. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Well, that's a little dark. I mean, you said you left. A bomb didn't go off. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about these photos, as they are clearly real photos is this uh, looking out into the garage yeah and reusing the uh, same photo that close to each other okay so Eddie has some medical issues for sure My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, Edie. Not Eddie. Okay. Orcas for Orca Island. That makes sense. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile, too many teeth. So I apologize if things get weird in the next minute or two. My cat really wants to take down this microphone. And as if almost right on cue, the cat took down the microphone. I hate you, cat. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. place had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Okay. Whoa. Don Finch, living room. Uh, more pictures, books. Right. Almost completed our little loop here. All right, so someone in the family is probably a soldier. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven builds music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Um, <laughs> a cute little music box with Sasquatch as a backdrop is a. Uh, Definitely unlike something I've seen before. Any 
anyone else hear that? Something move? Might just be the house creaking. I don't want to go upstairs yet. I definitely can't get Maybe in there. You told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's odd. All right. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Well, something happened to get people out of here in a real tear. Actually, it looks like you guys never even finished unpacking. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Maybe you shouldn't name your kid Milton. Yeah. That's definitely some banging on something. I don't think this is a spooky game, but... Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh. Well, I guess that answers the question that we're going upstairs. Wonder if the six stairmaster works. No. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh, wow. I'll come check in on you in a second. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Okay, I was under the impression Molly... Oh, I was going to say I thought Molly was your sister, but... Had I just read that, I would have been immediately disproven. Uh, so whose room is this? Doesn't seem to say. And that picture is terrifying. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This painting, I would love this in my room. Oh, that's super cool. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Hmm. 20,000 leaks under the sea. Out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. A classic. Oh. I guess we're not reading the classic. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I imagine I'll have time to investigate the house later. I want to find out what's in here. Paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Okay. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. what was behind that 